what's up welcome back i am so excited um if you can't tell um by the title i'm excited <laughs> finally 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 made the decision um that a lot of people uh kind of have been on the fence about um but i finally made this decision ugh, the decision uh to purchase the dyson air rep complete it is a pricey product and i did get a lot a lot of um backlash and a little bit of a reaction to it on my instagram so if you guys have been following me for years you guys know i do everything pretty much everything myself at this point um in life due to quarantine i just recently started doing my own nails hmm Hmm. if you follow me on instagram um i'll leave my instagram down low for you guys so you guys can see the little um a little bit of like highlights that i put up of my nails you guys know i do my own hair i dye my own hair um wash style the only thing i don't do is cut my hair um and the last time i think i got a cut was in june of last year um so I am due for a cut, but anyone that knows me knows I do my own hair. So I really thought this was a good opportunity. And the fact that I kept looking at it, um, that doesn't help, um, just pushed me to purchase it. So it, it came this morning. This is what she looks like. It is a big, big box. <laughs> this is what comes in the um complete so you do have some attachments you do have the actual blow dryer you have two um sizes of the curling the curling um situation we got going on there you do have a paddle brush which is obviously best when your hair is wet um, and I do have thick hair so that would be very good and you also have a coarse one which also works very well for thick hair um, and then of course my favorite which I'm dying to try is the actual traditional like roll brush and then of course you have your device it comes in this pretty little bag or this pretty little box it comes with this very pretty little box and then it also comes with a non-slip mat and I really really love this little setup let's plug her in like I said you get the body which is super loud so this is the temperature I should have known that so this is the temperature control this is the lowest this is the highest um, I'm probably gonna keep it on the highest because I usually do my hair on high heat and then of course you have uh, three different settings you can go very like low which is pretty low and then you raise it up and that's the highest and you can turn it off um, I'm using the um, two largest curlers only because um, the other ones are really tiny and I actually like my curls to be more body waved so it's so weird because it's like you would see the arrows away from your face um yeah <laughs> so pretty much from what i um was reading and from the reviews that i've seen on um youtube the arrows are pointing towards the arrows are pointing outwards meaning your curls are going to point outwards if you want your curls to point inward you would obviously switch them me i'm more of an outward curl type of girl so i'm gonna go ahead and do that guys i'm new to this so you just click it on and it's supposed to stay when you want to release it you just hit the little lock for about 10 seconds I'm gonna put it on the coolest and now I'm gonna put it on cool just to cool it down now this gets hot fast because my ear is like whoo and I'm gonna shut her off once I do that I'm gonna take my hair out Ooh. okay 
hair is very thick. So let's do this. I hold it because to be honest I don't want it to get like tangled. I've seen a lot of people get their hair tangled in this thing and I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm in the mood for that. To be honest. Nope. 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 Obviously this side is a little bit more fresh, this side has been sitting for a few minutes, which I really prefer my hair to be like this, more relaxed, but with the curl, and I feel like, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I feel like my curls kind of died out, but I like the wave that it gives, so let me get dressed, guys. So, um, once I finish my hair, I take a little bit of like tea tree oil, um, I use this uh, shea butter tea tree oil and jojoba oil, um, it's for your scalp and it is for your hair, I do use this. Just to add a little bit of shine to my hair because uh, we tend to just be a little dry so this is what um, I'm gonna show you guys this is what my hair looks like in the back now when I do my hair I never like to run my hair uh, my fingers through my curls not to the end of my hair anyway not to like I'm actually done I should say But I do like to run some oils in it. As you can see, I style it however, you know, sometimes I'll put my part in the middle, sometimes I'll put my part in the side. I also use this um, spray. It smells super pretty. And... So, to be honest with you, you do get a lot um, you do get a lot of like attachments for the amount of money that the actual thing is um, So honestly Do I feel like it's worth it so far? I feel like it's worth it again I will do another video when my hair is soaking wet so that way you guys can see what it's like going from wet to Nice and dry um, today. I was in a little bit of a rush and it actually came in and I was like great I can curl my hair and I can go that you guys. Thank you guys so so much for watching Please leave a thumbs up if this video helped if you are not subscribed to the channel subscribe and you guys can see my further um, Reviews on it later on in the day. I will leave my Instagram and my I don't really use snapchat But I will leave my Instagram down below for you guys so that way you guys can see um, pretty much keep up with me every day I do like to give a lot of my feedback on my insta stories So if you guys are not following me make sure you go ahead and you follow me Thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys